I'm willing to bet that this will be the stupidest clip you watch all week. So there's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question. Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly, no. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives, only one. But when men were asked a similar question, do we need women, most of them said yes. <laughs> so why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, I want to differentiate between straight men and gay men, because I think I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip <laughs> like gay men. Nobody can help you accessorize like gay men. Nobody can help you... Uh, from, keep you from doing harm to, your, to yourself uh, like gay men. My husband, it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving, and living in his own filth. He can, really? you know. I, I need my man three to four times a week. And oh. <laughs> Good for you guys. And then the rest of the time I need a wife. Broadly speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless. Like I think in the political moment, the people who are guys, don't hold saying back. what needs to be <laughs> said yeah. in my party, it's all women, the very few men with the exception of Mike Pence and a few others are saying what they need to. But in life, like I need my husband. I don't know if I need any other men, but he is irreplaceable. Yeah, Aww. yeah, I think so. But that's I mean, what I'm all saying. We like our husbands, we just don't need men beyond that. I mean, yeah, wait, wait till you're married 20 years and you'll see how replaceable well, they are. Women all right, ladies, listen up. Y'all go get you a large village of only gay men and women then watch how fast your world comes crashing down because you need straight, strong male leaders to survive. Two men can't produce a baby and neither can a woman all by herself. You need men. And sure, y'all can cook and whip up some delicious things in the kitchen, but don't forget who went out and gathered those things from the outside, who had to hunt or do whatever had to be done to provide that sort of meat. You, you can't just, just snap your fingers and boom, it appears right in front of you and then you could get your Rachel Ray and Martha Stewart on. The world don't work that way. And who's going to defend your butt when evil comes knocking? You? Oh, yeah, okay. Good luck with that. The amount of flagrant disrespect that just took place on our screens is absolutely insane. It's not a surprise, this culture that we're living in, but at least Alyssa Farah at the end made a halfway decent twisted comment about needing only her husband, but she still led with men are useless. Thank God that none of these women are my wife, because if one of them was, we'd be eating supper at the lawyer's office that night, dividing up our things through a settlement agreement. That's what would be going down. Anna Navarro, the cackling hen in red, straight up said that her husband is replaceable and useless. Yet at the same time, if you look him up on Google, he's a millionaire lawyer and politician. Al Cardenas is his name. I do believe I said that right. No disrespect if I didn't, but supposedly he's a conservative activist. If that's true, then you need to conserve some sanity by finding a non-liberal nut for a wife. Go get you a lady that actually loves and respects you. What's even crazier to think about is that some of these women have sons. So I wonder if they tell them how useless they are as well, how non-valuable that their sons actually are because they were born a man. Surely that'll go on to produce hardworking, responsible citizens someday. I mean, goodness gracious, what are you ladies thinking? I know the brain stems aren't connected, the, the logic and the common sense isn't quite there yet, but my goodness, the level of toxic filth on display is sickening. The fact that this show started when I was only two years old in 1997 and still hasn't been canceled, still is allowed to air on national television television just goes to show you how far lost into this woke insanity our society has fallen. The viewership numbers are in the can, yet somehow this cattywampus garbage is still allowed to be seen on our screens on YouTube and edited and posted. They actually went above and beyond to post this not only nationally in, in syndicated television, but on their YouTube. <laughs> You, you can't make this stuff up. Now, on the other hand, it makes for some hilarious content to react to, so I can't complain too much, but there's a reason I call this show The Spew, because all these miserable old lunch ladies do is spew hatred towards men and disregard all common sense. Just imagine for a second, where would this world be without men? First off, none of us would even be here because the first human being was a man named Adam, then came Eve from his rib. So show some gratitude, ladies. Without us, you would cease to exist and fast forward a little bit and God became man in the form of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, to give us a way out of sin and death when you have faith in him. Not her, not she, not they, them, thus, or whatever these people are identifying as these days, this LGBTQIA++++ 
community, whatever. No, the son of man. So there's that extremely important fact. But theology aside, you got to be off the rocker to think that you don't need men. Just open up your eyes and look all around. 99% of the freedoms and infrastructure that we all enjoy today were fought for or built by men. This show wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for the studio and all this equipment that men probably built, even though that could be argued as a bad thing. But y'all get my point. It's just wild to me that radical feminists like them can have such a distorted view of reality. Anytime y'all want to try to replace us and do what we do, by all means, take a crack at it. I'll let you because I know exactly how this plays out. Here's the hammer, the shovel, the, the ladder, and, and whatever you need. I'm not sure where you're getting the muscle and the, the physical features from. I'm not sure where you're getting the knowledge and the know-how, but, but go for it. I bet you by lunchtime, these women are crying about how much they love and need us. Thankfully, my wife knows the truth. She knows that I'm the head of the house and I lead righteously, but we both need each other to have a fruitful life. We love and complement one another because we have different strengths and different weaknesses, which is exactly how God designed it to be. And it's always going to be that way. So don't ever get it confused and twisted. No matter how extreme of a, of a feminist you are, Life functions a certain way for a reason. You could think whatever you want. You could say and make yourself look like an absolute imbecile and a fool all day long. But reality is what it is, and you can't change that. But I'll end my little rant there. I don't want to have too many triggered women in my comment section, although the ones that watch my videos, I know that y'all still cling to common sense and make that part of your day-to-day -day lifestyle, which I appreciate. I appreciate you. Ladies, do y'all share the same view as these Looney Tunes on The View, or do you recognize how vitally important we are as men to the entire world and are far more than just some handy toys that you can pick up three to four times a week or as many times as you like. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy, so it seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes ranging from itty bitty extra small to big, big and hefty 5X, a bunch of colors, different designs, all of that. I'm sure you could find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love. Outside of that, you can always join the Gibson family here on YouTube and become a member. You can buy me a coffee. You can join the Patreon family. All those links are down below as well. By no means do you have to do any of that. Just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes. I am greatly appreciative. I love y'all. I cannot thank you enough. Until next time, I'll be praying for you. Godspeed. I'm gone.